Welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics Introduction to Perio Charting in Axiom. Perio Charting is a pretty straightforward, albeit repetitive process, but there are a few techniques that we wanted to go over that will make the process easier. After finding and selecting your patient in the Rolodex, click on the Perio icon to open the patient's Perio chart and click on the green plus Add Perio button to open a new Perio findings edit window. Before adding anything to the chart, you will want to choose the exam type by clicking on the drop down arrow and selecting Comprehensive Perio Evaluation. To begin adding findings, select the correct region in the top right of the window. The default is maxillary right, which is the only quadrant we will be demonstrating today. So if you aren't charting that area, you will need to change this. Click the probing depth field on the tooth number you want to add, and you can begin charting your findings. To enter a numerical value, you can use either the number pad on the top right of the Add Perio window, or you can use your keyboard. Most users find it easier to just use their keyboard, though both methods produce the same result. Above the number pad, you will notice that there are three boxes, one of which is highlighted yellow. The yellow box represents the area of the tooth you are updating. It is very important to pay attention to which field is yellow, as you can get thrown off pretty quickly if you accidentally get off track. So just be sure the correct area is selected when you are charting. Below the number pad, you will see the key to the numbers. The information in this box changes depending on what field you are updating. Axiom by default advances horizontally. For instance, if you're updating probing depth, the value input automatically advances to the probing depth field of the following tooth. But many users have found it more efficient to enter multiple categories at the same time. The easiest way to do this is to use the arrow keys on the keyboard to go to the area we want to update. In this case, we will go back to the gingival margin on the tooth we just updated. To enter a negative value using the keyboard, hold the control key while typing the number and then the negative value will be recorded. The clinical attachment level will auto-populate with the sum of the probing depth and the gingival margin entries. Finally, you can add bleeding or plaque findings by typing the B or P keys while any field on the tooth is highlighted. Note that even though the bleeding field isn't selected, the bleeding which is indicated by a red dot is recorded on the left side of the column because that is the field that is active. The same is true for plaque. If we move the active field over one space, the plaque is recorded there. You notice that as you move along, the graph begins to form. The vertical black bar is the probing depth. The blue line is the gingival margin and the red line is the clinical attachment level. As mentioned earlier, Axiom advances along a horizontal line. So at the end of this quadrant, the input field advances to the next quadrant, so we will just use the keyboard to navigate back to the gingival margin of tooth number eight. Your workflow will probably look different, but for this video, we will go ahead and complete the lingual charting of the maxillary right. Again, whether you use your cursor or keyboard in this process is entirely up to you, but most Axiom users find it faster and easier to use the keyboard in the perio charting process. Using the keyboard on the lingual side of both maxillary and mandibular does take some getting used to, as the horizontal movement is inverted. Notice how the active fields are now advancing from right to left. These are the basic techniques for entering your findings in the perio chart. When you are finished charting, be sure to click the Save button before exiting or all of your work will be lost. It is also a good practice to save often as a crash, power outage, or accidentally closing the window will cause all of your entries to be lost. After saving, you can close the period chart and open the patient's EHR to create or update the diagnostic findings form. With the DX Find form open, Click the Perio Exam and Diagnosis tab and record your findings. 
As a reminder, it's a good habit to periodically check for unapproved period charts as they do not cause the patient's chart number box to change to teal like other unapproved items do. You can check for unapproved charts in your planner. This concludes the introduction to yeah. period charting and Axiom video. If you have any questions or would like to schedule further training, you can call the Dental Informatics Office at 55481 or stop by room 361 in the College of Dentistry. Thanks for watching.